All right, y'all. So this is my top 20 of 2014. The year is almost over. When I wish everybody a happy new year. If you're watching this after the new year, um, I was just looking at a bunch of my pictures and I just, I don't know. I felt like I wanted to close it out and talk about photography <laughs> for me in 2014. Um, so these pictures I'm going to show you, um, they're not in like order from the least to the best. It's just, I just randomly threw them in there. So don't feel like if you see a picture, be like, oh, he thought that picture was better than mine. No, it's not like that. Every picture can't be the first one and every picture couldn't be the 20th one. They just all in there. So, um, what else I want to say? Oh, I'm gonna try to keep this video short. <laughs> I'm gonna try to, there's 20 pictures in here. If I spend 30 seconds a piece, and that should be a 10 minute video. And then, you know, all this, this whole intro, then my outro and all of that, it might be a little longer, maybe 12, 13 minutes. So here we go. First one, Graffiti Alley. I just found Graffiti Alley this year, I think it was. Somebody, Jacob Kiva, my buddy Jacob, shout out to Jacob. He had put a picture up from Portland, Graffiti Alley. And I had Googled, I was curious to see if we had one in Baltimore. So I Googled Baltimore Graffiti Alley, and lo and behold, this place showed up. The funny thing is, Google actually gives you directions to get to the alley. Like, it'll tell you to go down North Avenue, make a left on highway, go 600 feet, and the alley is on your right. I thought that was funny that they would give you directions on how to get to an alley. I really like the shot, I really like all the colors, and I remember that little green, uh, this, that little green couch. I remember that, that was in the summertime. So uh, that was when I first started coming up here. Next, Rebecca and Omari, my BFF and her fiance. This is good people right here. Shout out to Rebecca, shout out to Omari. This shot, we had took this downtown uh, DC in front of the Capitol building. Um, funny thing about this shoot, this was the engagement shoot and like my battery was dying and my other battery was dead. So we had to take pictures and then like cut the camera off and then do a double, do another pose and then cut the camera back on, take some more pictures, cut the camera off. So it was like going back and forth. I'm surprised we got all the way through the shoot without, you know, just being totally dead, the camera totally dying. Um, what else I was gonna say about this? I forgot. I don't know, but I really like the shot. This shot was great. This this is a great shot. I like I like the the lights. They call it, ah, uh, no, no, <laughs> the rim lights, that's like, uh, this is called the golden hour, like right before sunset, you can get like a back lit, and it's like, uh, it's like this halo around them, so I like that, this, I like that about the shot. Number two, this shot was good too, everybody thought that they was like in the water, and like he was pulling her out of the water, and I never really noticed that until somebody else said that. And like, when you look at it, like, dang, it do kind of look like that. But no, if you ever go in front of the Capitol building in DC, you will see this big body of water, I don't know what it's called, but they were standing on uh, the concrete or whatever. Um, I want, it was something I was going to say, I'm so mad, I can't remember what I was going to say. But uh, yeah, so this is another in the top 20. I don't know if this is number four or what, but so let's go on. Fowl's Point, this is the sushi place over here. This red looking, uh, that's a sushi spot. I never been there before, but I know they got sushi. Like, if I ever was going to experiment with sushi, I might go over there to get it. Um, I had saw somebody else take this picture before, and I was like, "Man, that's a great shot." I want to take a picture down there and see what my picture might look like. And I like how like the um, where's my mouse? At? I like how the lights go on diagonal and then like they glisten off the water too. I like straight lines. I like diagonal lines. Like this is what they call a leading line of photography. It, like take your eyes. To lead down somewhere. Uh, the leg makes some building. So, yeah, I like this shot. This goes in the top 20 for sure. The Little Planets. This is a new thing I just found like last month or the month before that. It started off as a panera uh, panorama. It started off as a panorama. And then you flip it in a circle. You flip it on itself and it looked like a little planet. And if you flip it the other way, it looked like a little tunnel. I didn't really like the initial panorama of it. So that's not in the top 20, but if you go on my Flickr page, right, if you go on Flickr and you look at my albums and you look at the uh, Panorama album, you'll see the transformation. You'll see the Panorama shot, then you'll see this shot, and then you'll see the tunnel shot, like how, you know, how it all works out. So next, 
this is the tunnel. I like the tunnel a lot better. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna print this out and put this on my wall. If anybody, any of y'all ever been in my been in my room, you know I got like pictures all over the wall. I'm about, I think I'm gonna print this picture out. I might print this out tonight. This is uh, December 23rd. I think I might print this out and put this on my wall tonight. I really like this shot. I love the green. That's my favorite color, emerald green. Not just any green. It's gotta be emerald green. I love emerald green. This is a great shot. Jenny, Kaya. <laughs> me and Jenny, we go way back. We go way back to uh, high school, ninth grade, tenth grade. Miss Booz. Shout out to Jenny. Shout out to Kaya. Shout out to Miss Booz. I think I'm gonna tag Miss Booz because I got Miss Booz as a friend on Facebook too. So I'm tagging everybody in these pictures. Um, this was when I first started my Afrocentric, um, the natural hair Afrocentric album. I had seen somebody doing it on uh, Instagram. And they didn't have enough pictures. And like, I wanted more pictures. So I said, I'm gonna take my own pictures. Forget that. I'm not waiting for you to post more pictures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my own thing. And another thing with photographers, like if you ever Google 100 strangers, that's like a big photography like project. Like a lot of people do like street photography and it's like 100 strangers. So my thing, I like the natural hair. And I like I like this, uh, I like this little braid she put in there. Jenny always is real creative. That was nice. I think Kai got a little braid in there. I'm feeling that. And a little curly, a little... I like that. I'm digging that. This is this was a great shot. This was... Uh, we have first started warming up. This is sitting on the steps. I really like the shot. And this is another one. So, like, I was having a hard time picking between putting this one in there or putting this one in there. So, I said, I just put both of them in there. Right? I can do that. I'm the boss. I really like the shot. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, Jenny, that's my girl. First time I met Jenny was in uh, my oldest memory of Jenny was 10th grade, Miss Boo's class. She had sneezed, and I said, bless you. Now, apparently she said thank you, but I didn't hear her. So I'm like, I, I, so she sneezed, I said bless you. I didn't hear her say nothing. Then I was like, I said bless you, and she was like, and I said thank you. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I ain't want no trouble. <laughs> But we uh we later became friends throughout the year and like we always tripped about that. So shout out to Jenny, that's my girl. Um, next shot. Tamara, Tamara Griffin. We go back to middle school. This is her real hair. She was in my she's in my Afrocentric, my real hair shot too, my album too. Go in there and check it out. It's a lot it's a lot of good pictures in there. This shot, we was walking around trying to trying to like find some good poses. This was like I like to do candid stuff like I don't do a lot of poses and like I like natural the natural stuff so I get somebody telling me a story or I tell them a story and I just be taking pictures as we go along so I was like uh if you ever do them little them little duck face poses and she was like no I never do those she was like I hate when girls would do that like they'd be all on the camera like and then do the little duck face and then boom I took the shot real quick this is a really great shot I like this shot this is really funny every time I see this picture I laugh like I got a, um, I got like my slideshow be running through at work. So like if I walk past my, walk past my uh, my laptop and I see one of these pictures, I see this picture pop up. I always bust out laughing. I see this picture. Shout out to Tamara. Top of the world, Baltimore World Trade Center. I always walk past this place. I didn't know that you could go in there, and like, number one, when I first heard it was a World Trade Center, I didn't know Baltimore had a World Trade Center. And apparently, Portland has a World Trade Center too. I'm uh, imagining that every major city in America will have a World Trade Center. Maybe, I don't know. But we got one, I like this one. This was on the 21st floor. This was not at the top of the world. This was on the 24th floor, 21st floor. Uh, a friend was giving me a tour and I ended up uh, taking a shot. I really like the shot with the water and the sun glistening on the buildings and all. I really like this. And you can see Federal Hill right here. If you zoom in, like uh well you can't really do it on a slideshow. But this is a good shot. I really like this shot. Whoa. All right. Then now this is from the top of the world. This is from the twenty seventh floor of the World Trade Center. This is uh I like this shot. Like what else can I say about it? I like the buildings, I like the I like the sun bath, I like the brown, I like earth tones, and then like the copper top on all the buildings over here. I really like that. I'm feeling that. I really like this shot. Um, yeah, so let's move right along. Fells Point. This was, I was just joking around when I took this, took the shot. Like, I was just, like, experimenting. This is with my old camera, and I had a, 
I think I think I still got the lens, but it's a it's a zoom lens, a one hundred to three hundred, and zoom lenses they're not the best lenses in the world. But um, I was practicing with long exposure, so you can see how the water looked like glassy. When you take a long exposure, this was like a thirty second picture. Usually when you take a picture, you just boom hit the button, take a picture real quick. But this is with a thirty seconds, so it absorbed all that light over thirty seconds, and that's how the light started to twinkle. Like you can see all the lights, like they got that little star pattern around them. That's from taking a long exposure shot. I was standing over at Tide Point over by the Under Armour Corporate Center and looking over across the water and that's how I got the shot. And I'm like, I love the shot. I gave the shot. I gave this picture to my friend Kelly for her housewoman gift and printed it out like a big 13 by 19 with a frame. She loved it. I love it. This is a great picture. Shout out to Kelly. Boom. Sunset. Top of the world. I just took this picture like last week. Today is December 23rd. I took this like the 18th or something, whatever. I just went up there and took this like, when I, when I find a new place, I fall in love with it. And like, I would go there every day for maybe one or two weeks and just like get everything I can get out of it. So the sunset from World Trade Center, I think I might try to get another one of those too. And like, I got to do it in the wintertime because in the summertime, the sun ain't going to be setting over here. The sun will be setting like over here, like behind these buildings. Maybe you can, I can get some good shots. Oh, no, 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 that's the thing. In the summertime, the sunset around like 7 o'clock. The World Trade Center is closed by then. So I can't get no sunset pictures in the summertime. I got to do it now in the wintertime while it's still open, while the sun is setting early. So, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to be a lot more often get these sunset pictures. This is the Bromo Zelsa. This is, matter of fact, you can see this building. If you look over here, if you look, that's that. That clock tower right there. That is this. This is the Bromo Zelsa clock tower. Um, they give you tours, like a $5 tour, and they tell you all the history about it. The guy who, like, what's the word? Commissioned, I guess the word. Commissioned to for this building to be built. He had went to Florence, Italy, and he saw the clock tower over there, and he was inspired to come back over here and build one inspired by that. And uh, I really liked this shot. I don't know. I was, this was after I was, like, I was leaving. I was walking back to my car. And I saw this West Side sign. I was like, oh, yeah, that's me. I was born in what, you know, uh, well, yeah, I didn't say born and raised. I was born in Sana. So, yeah, I grew up on West Side Park, Ice and Rogers, and I saw this. Like, oh, West Side, let me get a picture of this. And, like, and this is what came out of it. It was like, this, I think this is a really good shot. I wasn't expecting, like, I don't know. This is a, this is a great shot. It was just kind of like off the cuff. Whatever. I like this shot. Bang! <laughs> This is another one. Every time I see this picture, I bust out laughing. I love this picture. Shout out to Bay. Shout out to Marcus. If you look on my Flickr page and go to uh, the Afrocentric album, you can see the behind the scenes picture. Marcus had to the, took a picture of me taking this picture. So you go on my Flickr page, you'll see you'll see this picture at the top, and then it's like a, it's a collage. So this picture at the top, and then the behind the scenes is I'm down here at the bottom, like taking a picture. I had, I don't know what a joke I had, you know, I collect jokes, because I, I like the natural laugh, the natural smile, I don't like poses, so I hit her with a joke, it was, it was funny, she bust out laughing, bam, took the shot, I love this shot, this shot is great, this, I, I print, matter of fact, I printed this out, this is on my wall right now, I love this picture so much, shout out to Bay. shout out to that, <laughs> this another one, Bay. oh, that's another thing, Bay was, so, I got Bay in my Afrocentric, my natural hair album. She had posted something on Facebook like, Oh, I'm having a bad hair day, I'm rocking my fro. I'm like, Bay, I love your fro. Look, I'm doing I'm doing this album, I'm doing this project. I would love to have you in there. So I took some pictures of her and she was like, OMG, I love my fro now. I'm inspired. Like, I'm gonna wear my fro. And that's what it's all about. Like that's why the the natural hair album, I wanna encourage and inspire my sisters to wear your hair. Your hair looks good on you. I had a friend say, like, oh, my hair don't look good on me. I was like, what? <laughs> no, yeah, wear your hair. Your hair is, is good for you. Um, I don't know I don't know what she was telling me, but this shot is good. I like how it's, like, she kind of off to the side. Then we got this tree over here from uh, the Silburn Arboretum and, like, the sun bath. This is great. I love this shot so much. This is a great shot. This is another one where I couldn't decide whether to use this or to use this. So I use them both because I'm the boss. I'm going to do that. Lock Raven Reservoir. This is where I would go in the summertime to take all my sunset pictures. I like this little stick hanging out there, like the contrast, like everything is kind of blacked out. 
you can see that it's like it's trees though and uh, the ducks they was moving so they're a little foggy but that's okay we got the sunset it's beautiful clear skies orange browns I like earth tones you know this was a great shot I love the shot a lot um, like River Reservoir yeah go out there sometime yeah you'd be surprised you go out there and feed the ducks it's nice I was surprised this place was even in Baltimore like I've been finding a lot of places like I don't I'm like is this even in Baltimore like this is crazy like I didn't know this stuff even existed like River Reservoir is great I took this from my Lightroom Reservoir too. It was, um, yeah, I had my zoom lens again. The same, probably that same zoom lens I used for that Fells Point shot. Zoom way in on it, pow, got this shot. And you can, I like how you can see the craters in the moon. And, uh, like, it's real crispy. Like, I really like this picture. That And that's a tree. That's a tree under there. So, uh, yeah, the moon. I had got some blood moon pictures, but they not as good as this. Like I was trying some other stuff, so they didn't make it into the top twenty because they not as good as this. But uh, yeah, graffiti alley. This is another graffiti alley shot. All these colors, like, and the, the crazy thing about graffiti alley, like, if you every week, so yeah, this must have been around. This probably was the same day because that green chair is there. Um, but the last time the green tree was way down there, flipped upside down. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, every week, like new artists come down there and they'll put new stuff up. So it's always changed. I remember one time it was a Bugs Bunny. Somebody had posted a picture of Bugs Bunny over here on graffiti. And I like, I wanted to come in there and take a picture of him. But by the time I got there, somebody had already painted over it. And I felt some type of way about that. I didn't like that. I wanted that. But I, and I missed that. So, better luck next time. Graffiti Alley, this my spot. I love all the colors. That's me. I'm the selfie. <laughs> At work, they say I'm the selfie king. Like, I don't take regular selfies. I take, like, big selfies, like, with my tripod and all. This is inside the Bromo Zelsa clock tower. This was during the tour, and uh, I had a tripod with me. And I set the little tripod down there, and I took a selfie. I think I used a remote. That was when my old camera needed a remote. Now, with my new camera, I can control it from my phone. The Canon 6D, that full frame, is real nice. I like that. Um, I like the shot too, uh, and I just I just felt like I just had to throw a selfie in there somewhere, you know. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's the top twenty of twenty fourteen. Check out my Flickr page, Devin Trent Photography. You know, www.flickr.com backslash Devin Trent Photography. You can go straight to the URL. Check me out. Um, photo shoots they going up to one twenty starting January one. Shout out to all my supporters. Shout out to Lisa and Keisha. And uh, Latoya, everybody, everybody that be supporting me. Um, yeah. Uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> Dang, I got a typo on there. The H. That's supposed to be. So, well, now you know. When you go to the URL, make sure you put an N in there. My name is not Trent. It's Trent. T R E N T. But I, I ain't finna do this video all over again. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um,. Yeah, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say earlier, but thanks, thank you for all your support. Peace out.